So, this is Bernice, and uh, her name is right there. And she is a 26 foot WB Holiday Rambler made in 1987. It is an Illumilite series. This is the series I've been looking for because the entire interior construction of this camper is all made out of aluminum, not something you find in modern day campers of this size. So uh, very strong, that's why it's still on the road. We do have some work to do on the top of it, but uh, I'm just gonna do a quick walk around and Jody will go through the inside. So. Thirty pound propane tanks. The one thing that is leaking or is needs work is these doors are all dry rotted. It's not water; it is dry rot, so it's just from the heat, I believe. And so I will have to replace these panels. But this was something that was replaced by the current owner, the the previous owner that we just bought it from, replaced all these tank systems. And uh, so we've got two good thirty pound propane tanks in there to keep us going. Water heater door needs to be replaced all these graphics will probably come off and hopefully create graphics that match Bruce our truck and um, these are I haven't looked at the rating on the axles but they seem to be pretty steady um, one something very cool about this on the back you got to see this this is sweet look at this metal metal wheel cover the windows oh, I didn't know they have shades like that. and open up. Look at that. Provides tons of light on the back side. As you can see, it's got an, also a V-shaped nose. They would never do that today. Solid aluminum, all fiberglass rear end. So super solid there. One thing I love about they did in the old campers is they put the power cord out the back. Allows you to be able to plug in on either side really easily. Airstream did that. Mm -hmm. Nobody else did. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe some, some do. Um, this side, windows do have louvers too as well. They open and raise. Uh, two 26 gallon, well, the front waste water tank or the back waste water tank is a 26 gallon uh, black water tank. And there's also a front black water, a gray tank is 26 gallons. And then the main fresh water tank is 30 gallons. If we combine, which I will try to find a way to do, the two wastewater tanks into one, uh, that'll give us 52 gallons of wastewater for camping at state parks much easier. So, um, but we're not getting a composting toilet this time. Oh, we're not doing that. So, so we will not be combining tanks. Well, so we may not combine tanks. Are you already thinking about boondocking? I'm already thinking about boondocking. I didn't, but I was, we did but that with our we Airstream. Probably won't, we probably won't do that. We so. did that with our Airstream. I do like this big, huge window outside. It gives tons of light on the inside. Do you want to tell them when we got it? When did we get it? We got it yesterday. Yeah, we just got so it So we're familiarizing ourselves with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just now learning. I've been opening up all the different things. Uh, refrigerator in here. The refrigerator has been replaced. Mm -hmm. Definitely has got to be worked on. It's only running on electric right now because they put a residential fridge in, which I actually like for the way we're going to be camping now. Mm -hmm. Down the road, if we want to use propane to do to be, do propane camping or off-grid camping more, we'll have to convert to propane, but not worried about that right now. Because we don't so, plan to full-time. Yeah. Now, something the Airstream had, and I know this isn't a lot of, a lot of storage, but look down in here. We actually have storage in this one. Watch out, you step on step on ants. Oh, um, thank you. Is we actually do have storage in here, and you can see better from around the front. Two new batteries on this. It is a fifth wheel, but there is storage under here. Our our fifth our airstream had none of this. So and our scamp for had us, none of this. this is huge. This is massive amounts of storage. And both of our scamps. And neither of our scamps had this. So, so we're like excited. Older older campers just don't didn't have a lot of storage. And another thing. All, t all aluminum, all aluminum, uh, fiberglass out here, fiberglass cap. So all this will be able to be zept. I'll do a, probably a three phase, three part zept clean on this to really get it nice and shiny. It's gonna take lots of time, not in a hurry to get it done. And he started and the clean out already. Already started to clean out. By the way, give him a shot of Bruce. Step back and show oh, him Bruce, our Bruce. truck. We, we just got, got Bruce to too. Bruce. We just bought Bruce too as well. He's a 96. 96 Ford, Ford F-250 with a 7 point liter power stroke and we're excited to pull it along with 
Bernice. Bernice. And so Jody's going to do a uh, walk around on the inside.